Yo, what's going on Cowboys fans? It's your boy Foots the King. Hey, hey. Hey, so for some of y'all wondering where that hey comes from, I was an athlete, still am. And it's like one of those things where, where you make a big play, you playing basketball, you, you shoot a jumper, hey. Or you make a big play, hey. Or you get a pick, hey. Or when I'm, you know what I'm saying, watching the game with Redskins fans and they talking trash and then Zeke takes it to the house. Hey, Zeke, hey. All right. So don't get in my comments asking why I say hey. All right. All right, Cowboys fans, it's your boy Fuster King, as always. Thank you guys for uh, for joining me, man. Let's talk, let's talk ball. We're getting very, very close. We're getting close, baby. Training camp is literally right around the corner. Got some good news today. Um, got a bunch of stuff to talk about. The Cowboys secondary battle, all right? Um, it's going to get mm, kind of spicy. We got to know who the guys are. Now it's about arranging. Now it's about seeing who's going to who's gonna make, you know, make that push. I have a push at the bottom of the roster. Now we now we need to see if it'll actually happen. I, I've done a video on Jordan Lewis. I've done a video on Anthony Brown, how that battle may turn out. We need to see if Cheeto can take the next. All these things we need to see. Before I get to any of that, I got to say thank you. As many of you guys know, I am trying to get to training camp. Well, I'm going. Got the tickets now. And um, all of you guys have been donating. It means the world to me. Even the big homie Vach. Yo, Vach, thank you so much, big bro. Um, he shot a donation. Uh, Frederick Goins. Guyons, I'm sorry. If I if I messed that up, Fred, I'm sorry. But thank you for the big donation. April Statton, thank you. You three, thank you guys for donating. Friends of the channel. Um, Vach does amazing work. I know Frederick and April have been with me for a while. Just thank you guys. I'm bringing you guys a bunch of video content. As soon as I get out there, I'm going to just go crazy with stuff. I'm going to try to do some live streams, all sorts of stuff. You know, kind of highlighting the battles and what's going on. So continue to donate. Drop a, f a few bucks in there. Got to get hotel. All that little stuff that we got to do to kind of make this experience great because that's what it's going to be. I'm going to be out there three days. It's going to be fun. All right, guys. In other news, Randy Gregory was reinstated. This is awesome. Um, that said, he's going to have to stay on this straight and narrow. I think that a lesson was learned and that a lot of kids can learn these lessons is that you may not get one, two, three, four, five. He actually got a lot of chances. Playing for the Dallas Cowboys is a prime situation. I wish kids understood that. I wish they took it more serious. I remember Joseph Randall kept getting in trouble. All, the, all these guys, even you know Quincy Carter, then, then you see him in these interviews back when they get older and they're like, man, I wish. Don't be that I wish, Randy. Come in, and you know what? What's crazy is, you know, I was watching some of his film today, just kind of refreshing. Randy can really be special. He can help this secondary that we're about to talk about. You know, when you think about Seattle and what Chris Rashard did, they always had a solid D line. Michael Bennett, they always had a solid and and solid D line play to really help. You know, kind of throw the alley oop to that secondary. So. With Randy Gregory, it kind of makes me feel a lot better about this um, about this defense as a whole, and about the D line, which is you know kind of a kind of a question mark, especially on the interior. But he's reinstated. You guys saw the tweet from Byron Jones. The team seems happy. He's put the work in to get back. Now Randy, Randy, <laughs> Tom Landry, Randy. Listen, Randy, stay back. We need you. All right. Stay back. The cow I want you to be good, healthy, whether we think weed should be illegal, whatever. It's not in the NFL's world. So, you know, that they watch the Cowboys with everything they got. They put all their resources into the Cowboys. Roger Goodell does. Okay, secondary battle. Let's talk about it. All right, guys. So, before we even get into the players, let's kind of hit a quick refresher. So, obviously, the hiring of Chris Richard really has Cowboys, you know, brash. Just excited. It has me excited. You hear him talk. But there will be growing pains, and I want to be kind of the first to kind of highlight this. Going to a heavy press man system and cover three and a, a system where you want to get physical receivers at the line, there are going to be a lot of penalties. There are going to be a lot of hands to the face when you're trying to get your jam. There are going to be a lot of holding. It's going to be things that, you know, we're going to have to get used to that it may not be as smooth as we think right away, all right? I remember when we got Rob Ryan and, you know, the plan was we're gonna have all these exotic blitzes and we're gonna do all these things. And 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 it just didn't work how we thought it would. I remember a Saints game, you know, guys were running free left and right because he's trying to do all these blitzes and he's over there cussing on the sideline. So the point is, I think that Chris Richard definitely has, I've, I mean, I've highlighted on this channel, he has the personnel to do what he wants to do. He really does. But there will be growing pains. You know, and that said, I hit it earlier, 
The D-line must assist the secondary. D-Law, now Randy Gregory. Taco needs to take a jump. We need a healthy Malik Collins. He's still on the foot. Tyrone, he's going to be all over the D-line. The D-line and the secondary, they must throw each other assist, all right? When you're playing press, you're jamming, throw them off the rock for about four to five seconds, and then there needs to be pressure, and then you can go attack the football, turn the ball over. I think that's what we need to look forward to in training camp, in preseason, and then carrying over to the season. All right, let's talk about some things that we want to see before we even get to the who's in, who's out, you know, the whole shebang. Let's talk about some things that we need to see, you know, throughout training camp. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, Heath. Jones, Woods, Frazier, Cheeto, Brown, Lewis. There's a few more too. I mean, Duke, Cam Kelly, Tyree Robinson, Jamil Showers even, former quarterback. I'm probably missing a few. Throughout camp, we need to see a fight, a battle. Um, Throwing these receipts. It can't be Dez. Remember how Dez used to just dominate our DBs? Can't be that this year. We need to see pass breakups. We need to see, I got a few questions. How does Byron look? How will he look, you know, in camp? He's always looked good in camp, but then how will he look and then how will it translate into preseason, into actual game action? I think he's going to be your number one corner. Rashard has spoken very highly of Byron Jones. How does it translate? Um, The slot battle, A.B. versus Jordan Lewis. You guys love Jordan Lewis. I love Jordan Lewis. Is he our definite slot? Do they think highly of, of A.B.? Is A.B. your first off the bench to play on the outside? That's my next question. Who is the first off the bench to play on the outside? Marquez White? Does Marquez even make the team? It's a lot of questions, guys. I'm going crazy. Does Marquez even make the team? Um, who's the first off the bench? Is it Duke Thomas? Does he come out in of, of, of nowhere? Is Anthony Brown? Is it Jordan Lewis? Is there a situation that where if there's an injury to either Byron or Cheeto? Because what I think will happen is I think it'll be Byron on one side, Cheeto on another. If there's an injury to one, what if Jordan Lewis kicks it outside? Anthony Brown comes in what if X Woods who has flex comes in you see what I'm saying so there's a lot of different scenarios when it comes to the DB room secondary as a whole safety and corners that we really need to figure out what is Kayvon Frazier gonna do he needs to take another jump all right there's gonna be a big injury somewhere knock on wood you guys can't see it Knock on my TV. What if, what if there's a big injury? All right, so all of these things we as fans have to keep our eyes on, and I want you guys to let me know and kind of give me a prediction of what you think will happen. All right, who's in, who's out? So, guys, I was doing some research, and I couldn't, I can't remember. You guys refresh me if I'm wrong. I was talking to Joe about it. The way the Cowboys have set up these battles is going to be really, really exciting key. The Cowboys normally keep between 9 to 10 DBs. So here goes my who's in, who's out. Right now, who's in? Jeff Heath, X Woods, Kayvon. I got Tyree Robinson. I got him kind of being that Barry Church type. And dare I say, he makes the team. Oregon, undrafted free agent. Let's see. Barry Church did it. Byron Jones is in. Cheeto, Jordan Lewis, Anthony Brown, um, Marquez White. And I got Duke Thomas and Cam Kelly on the bubble. All right, guys. To me, that's a solid group, all right? We know the monkey in the room is E.T., Earl Thomas. I'm staying away from that. I want to focus on the guys who are here. Remember last year, you saw enough out of this secondary. Now, it wasn't always pretty. There were plays like this. Xavier Woods, this one. And there were plays like this. You don't get the safety help. Now it's just one-on-one. -on -one, and now crap. All right, those are two guys, Cheeto and Jordan Lewis, who I really love and trust. But they weren't always perfect. But they're worth being developed. They're worth growing. And the same can be said about X Woods. He's made a lot of plays. And I don't want to bring a guy in, you know, to kind of basically to mess that growth up. So you guys know where I stand on the ET thing. But bigger than that, I just want to see this secondary really develop. I want to see all of these guys come up together. Now, obviously, Chris Richard isn't, isn't the head coach. But look at what the Celtics have done bringing in a young Brad Stevens. Jason Tatum has gotten better. We're talking basketball here now for a second. Tatum has gotten better. Um, Kyrie, once he gets healthy, uh, Jalen Brown. So I want the same principle. I want X Woods to grow with Kayvon. I want, you know, Cheeto and Jordan to say one day they were in the same draft class and they continue to get better. So all of these questions can be answered throughout camp, but what do you guys think is going to happen? I gave you guys my who's in. Um, I think that they already have it stacks how they want now it's about i think this is the bottom of the db room who can make a push and kind of slither in maybe make some plays throughout preseason so we'll see what happens but figuring out these dbs while i won't say it's been tricky it's gonna be fun because somebody's gonna need to make plays interceptions and breakups that's what we need to see at camp i'll be there 
And trust me, I'll have the camera rolling. All right, guys, it's your boy Fuster King. As always, thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please continue to grow with me. Please continue to donate. And remember, Cowboys Huddle, the podcast, um, my music. Make sure that you guys supporting all of it. Vach, Vach, Frederick, April, thank you guys for donating. Please, 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 please continue to donate. All right, guys, it's your boy Fuster King. Peace.